Hey YouTube, Corey Allen X here, taking a few minutes to give reverence, remembrance to, and a few words of thanks to the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We have this day on the calendar to uh, acknowledge the day of his birth and his legacy, his dream, and the effect that his bravery had on not only the people of the United States, but I believe the, the people of the world. Um, I can remember as a kid being taught about uh, Martin Luther King's dream and his struggles uh, when I was in elementary school in California. And as I think back on it now, um, the whole idea of his dream was incredibly foreign to me. As I have said in other videos, I feel I have felt incredibly fortunate to have been raised um, not only in the place, but in the time that uh, I, I was raised. I feel that um, my sense of possibility in the world, my sense of fairness, my sense that people can be, should be, are judged by the content of their character, by the merit of their actions and not the color of their skin, um, I think directly comes from the fact that I was raised in a place where multiculturalism, um, at least on the surface, seemed to be the norm. And I had friends of all backgrounds, all colors, um, around me. And I never, I never really saw their color. And because of that, I was never really forced to see myself as a color. And I think that at a young age, that sense is crucial for the ability of uh, for, for someone to have the ability to uh, forge their own path to to dream envision themselves in a way that is free of limitation free of uh, fear or trepidation going back to Martin Luther King in looking back on it now I, I'm as an adult I'm fully aware that it was because of his struggle and the struggle of so many others like him that I'm able to sit here now and broadcast this to you um, that I'm able to, to do what I do for a living um, to get up in front of people of all backgrounds and, and to perform on stage um, and in front of a camera um, to walk into a restaurant and, and ask for a table wherever I'd like to sit um, to eat and to leave uh, w without incident um, to be able to go into a restroom like anyone else um, to be able to walk down the street without fear of of physical harm and I think especially um, taking into consideration the recent events in Arizona I think it's crucial that we not forget that each and every right that we have um, has been fought for. Blood, blood, blood has been spilled uh, for the securing of those rights. And I think it's always easy, um, especially when a new generation comes around, 
it's easy for us to forget the sacrifices, the strides of those who came before us. Um, to forget those who came before us um, as we go about our way. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to give thanks to Dr. Martin Luther King, to give thanks to Coretta Scott King for giving her husband, giving her husband up. Um, and for being able to uh, enjoy the freedoms that his struggle guaranteed or helped guarantee. So I hope that you all are having a good day today. I will be uh, working on some new content very soon. Uh, I'm in a play right now that is uh, running me ragged, but um, I will have some new content coming up very, 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 very soon. So, if you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. If you uh, would like to, leave a comment. Um, do so. I'd love to know what Martin Luther King's dream, his legacy, means to you, if anything. I know that I have some subscribers, um, or I have that I have subscribers of many different ages, so I'm, I'm really interested in hearing how your experience of the materialization of uh, Dr. 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 King's dream has affected you or how you have witnessed it in your lifetime and what your aspirations for um, the future may be in respect to uh, personal rights, um, civil rights, and equality for people. So, be well, love, light, happiness, prosperity to you in 2011, and uh, I'll be back with some new content real soon. Bye.